So, in this uh, session on tuberculosis, vaccine for tuberculosis, we are going to look at uh, what are the newer development as far as vaccines for TB is, con uh, is concerned. In the global efforts to control tuberculosis, the WHO has enunciated certain strategies. We had the uh, DOT strategy in the 1990s followed by the stop TB strategy and currently we have the NTB strategy as part of the WHO sustainable development goals. The NTB strategy envisages a world of zero deaths, disease and suffering due to TB and it aims at a 95 percent reduction in deaths a 90 percent reduction in incidence of TB by the year 2035 compared to 2015. So, towards this end certain targets have been sent. So, if you want to achieve a percentage reduction in TB deaths of 95 percent by 2035, you need to reach targets of 35, 75 and 90 over 2020, 2025 and 2030. Similarly, to reach a 90 percent reduction in TB deaths, in TB incidence, we need to have targets every 5 years. The Indian government has even a more ambitious strategy according to the national strategic plan. We hope to achieve these targets by the year 2025, which is quite ambitious and therefore, special efforts are needed to achieve this target. So, this slide shows you the global TB incidence rates. The x axis shows the rate of TB per 100,000 population per year and the y axis is the time 2015 and 2035. The current rate of decline of TB incidence is about 2 percent per year. Now, this rate of decline is not enough for us to achieve a 90 percent reduction in TB incidence rates which is this line. At the most we will achieve, uh, achieve about 25 percent reduction by the year 2035. Now, by optimizing the current tools that we have, better diagnosis, more efficient treatment, pursuing universal health coverage and social protection, we can increase this decline to 10 percent per year. And even then by the year 2035 you are not going to achieve a 90 percent reduction. You may reach about 75 percent reduction. Now, if you want to achieve the 90 percent reduction in incidence rate by 2035, you need to need introduce new vaccines and you need to treat latent TB. Only if these are done, there is any hope of achieving these targets that have been set by the uh, set as the NTB strategy of the WHO. Now, the ARAS is a non-profit organization, the Global TB Vaccine Initiative and this organization is helping to facilitate the development of new TB vaccines that are affordable and available to the poorest sections of society. The ARAS says that a new model incorporating data from 183 countries shows that a 60 percent efficacious adolescent or adult vaccine delivered to 20 percent of the target population could avert 30 to 50 million new TB cases by the year 2050 and a significantly improved infant vaccine could avert an additional 7 to 10 million cases over the same period. So, this slide tells you the TB vaccine pipeline, the global TB vaccine pipeline. Uh, we see that there are three vaccines in phase 1, five vaccines in phase 2A, two vaccines in phase 2B and two vaccines in phase 3. I will briefly go through the characteristics of these vaccines in my next few slides. Under phase 1, we have three vaccines, the MTB VAC. This is a live attenuated MTB strain with depleted PHOP and FAD D26 genes. Its safety and biodistribution profiles are similar to BCG and it shows superior protection in preclinical studies. Phase 2A studies are expected in 2018. 
the ADAG85A is a recombinant adenovirus serotype 5 vaccine vector. It is safe, immunogenic and enhanced protection against MTB in murine, bovine and guinea pig models. The Crucial 85 the Crucial 35 MVA85A is a simian adenovirus vectored vaccine expressing 3 MTB antigens, antigen 85A, 85B and TB 10.4 is being investigated in systemic and aerosol routes meaning that this is a vaccine that can be given by inhalation. Under phase 2A we have uh, 5 vaccines. The RU-T is a therapeutic vaccine, it is a non-live vaccine using fragmented detoxified MTB encapsulated in liposomes. Following chemotherapy, RU-T was effective in mice and guinea pigs, it is well tolerated in phase 2 studies, phase 3 trials are being planned in MDR-TB patients. The H1 F56 IC31 and the H4 IC31 are adjuvanted vaccines. Uh, the H1, H56, the protein subunit adjuvanted vaccine is a hybrid of ESAT6 and antigen 85B with adjuvant IC31. In phase 2 studies in HIV positive adults, it was safe and induced a specific and durable TH1 immune response. The H4 IC31 is a BCG booster vaccine and shows protection protein subunit adjuvanted vaccine contains antigen 85B and TB 10.4 in IC31. The ID 93 GLA AC is a 4 antigen MTB recombinant protein containing RV 2608, 3619, 3620 and 1813 in a novel glucopyrosinoil lipid adjuvant stable emulsion. Phase 2A study just completed for pulmonary TB in South Africa and phase 2B study is being planned. The TB flu 04L is a mucosal prophylactic booster vaccine again can be given by inhalation. It is a recombinant influenza vaccine having influenza virus strains H1N1 and MTB antigen 85A and ESAT6. A phase 2A trial is being done in latent TB. Under phase 2B we have 2 vaccines, the DAR901 which is a heat inactivated Mobian strain of MTB, it is again a booster vaccine, it is being tested in BCG prime adolescence in Tanzania and the M72A01 vaccine which is a protein subunit containing MTB antigens 32A and 39A in adjuvant. Clinically accepted safety profile has been shown and highly immunogenic in MTB infected and infected adults. Phase 2B trials are ongoing in HIV TB infected adults. And in phase 3 which is the most advanced stages of clinical trial, we have 2 vaccines, the VPM1002, it is a live recombinant BCG strain carrying a gene for Listeria monocystogenous coding for the protein the stereolysin. In phase 2 studies in comparison to BCG in newborn infants in South Africa, it was shown to be safe and well tolerated and a phase 2, 3 trial is expected to start in India in 2018. And MVAC-A is a whole heat kill bacteria vaccine, induces CD4 T cell expressing interferon gamma and iolite responses in cultures from MV treated mice is safe and immunogenic in HIV positive adults. When added to chemotherapy of TB patients, it showed improved sputum conversion and acceleration. So, it is a therapeutic vaccine and a phase 2 trial is ongoing in China with more than 10,000 participants. So, what are the challenges for developing of new TB vaccine? There are gaps in our knowledge of the immune response system in TB. There is no good correlate for protection we do not know what really constitutes protection in tuberculosis. There is no suitable animal model. Funding is difficult, only governments and charitable organizations are willing to fund for TB vaccines because there is no market for a TB drug or vaccine. Industry is reluctant to fund TB vaccines and many TB endemic countries 
lack the infrastructure to carry out large clinical trials that are necessary to uh, test out TB vaccines. So, the key messages in my lecture today are that the prevention through vaccination is the most cost effective tool for eliminating and controlling tuberculosis. BCG provides only modest protection against disseminated TB in children. New TB vaccines would be our single greatest preventive tool in the fight against tuberculosis. Without them, there is no hope that TB will be eradicated and some promising vaccine candidates are being studied in clinical trials. Thank you.